Preston, would you tell us a little bit about the excitement of CHH, the new CHH building, uh, and all the things we need to know this morning? I will, I will. So if you have missed some of this, back in, uh, in the fall, we began talking about a need for some more space for, uh, for our Center for Hope and Healing and for our shelter ministry, and you heard some of that just now. Uh, historically, if you look back about 10 years, we began a counseling center with just a few counselors doing maybe a few dozen uh, sessions each week, and now we have about six or seven counselors doing hundreds of sessions each week. So your church body supports this community by helping provide that counseling for those around us. If you think about it, and I'm going to do, this is always dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. I want to do a little experiment by show of hands. If you know someone who has struggled maybe with extreme sadness or depression, may not be you, doesn't have to be you, but if you know someone that has struggled with that, would you just raise your hand? Okay. If you know somebody that struggled with maybe anxiety to the point that they, they just had a hard time doing life, would you just slip your hand up? What if you know somebody that has gone through something really hard in their marriage, struggling in their marriage, and they needed some help? Okay. We could go on and on and on and see hands go up all across this room because here's the reality. We live in a hurting world. We live in a hurting community. And we have said over and over and over again that we want to be a church that runs to the hurting and sometimes that is running to them out in our neighborhoods and in our workplaces and and areas like that sometimes that is bringing them here on a sunday morning but one thing that we know is for some in our community they're not quite ready to take the step into this building but they are hurting enough that they will reach out to someone that they believe can help them with the struggle that they're facing in that moment and so we as the center for hope and healing get to step into that gap meet them in their point of need, and then connect the dots back to Broadmoor as a church ministry. And so we are grateful to be able to do that. We're excited about what the future holds. We just need more space to accommodate the number of people that we're seeing, the number of sessions that we're having, and honestly, to, to meet future needs as we continue to grow. That, in addition to the fact that we have a shelter ministry that is working really hard to step into this world of foster care and adoption and even ministering to women who maybe have faced an abortion in their past or facing a crisis pregnancy right now. And all of the things that we have mentioned require sort of unique space. It's not just like, just put them in a room somewhere and you're good. They require unique tools and techniques and things like that that, that have space attached to that. And so we are excited about the building that we are looking at moving into um, very soon. We're ready to get going on that and, uh, and love the fact that you as a church body can be involved in ministering to all of the people that we just mentioned.